I don't know how well you can hear it. There are birds building nests in these trees. And they are flying around, squawking, croaking. And you can see them coming and going. They almost sound like bullfrogs. But it's these birds up here. All right, I just read Christopher Langan's paper that he just recently published and he's talking about his theory of everything cognitive theoretic model of the universe combining cognition conception theorizing and modeling of reality the universe And I actually understood quite a bit of it. It's a, it, it's a good argument for um, functional programming languages <laughs> without coming out and saying it. A lot of the generative work that I did with L systems and uh, Conway, uh, the math mathematician, I can't remember his first name, um, but Conway and Conway's Game of Life for simulations and fractals uh, and self-similar systems. I did a fair amount of this work in Clojure, which is a functional programming language like Lisp. It's a Lisp variant. Uh, the work's all open source. I used it to create um, polygon meshes. Uh, which is a polygon mesh is just a, what a computer uses to um, simulate three-dimensional shapes. So most video games, uh, 3D modeling, software, uh, virtual reality content, video game content, it's just a, a bunch of uh, triangles. A triangulated uh, triangle is a simple polygon and you uh, have them share edges and vertices and you create something in the case of a 3d printer it has to be uh, watertight which is the concept of uh, you can't intersect yourself uh, just basically you think of any reasonable 3d shape uh, you can't have vertices that have zero uh, dimension let's say you know you can't have uh, something squished down to a single point interior to its surface uh, and and uh, have that be 3d printable so uh, I, I created interesting 3d shapes using generative algorithms um, exporting out to a an xml file um, that supports the description of 3D objects, including color information. And then I would upload those files to shapeways.com. Uh, my design page name is Ergo Algorithmic, <laughs> which shows you, <clears throat> he mentions cogito, cogito ergo sum. Um, but a lot of what he's doing is, is to get away from Descartes and Cartesian thinking. Uh, it really resonated with me. I think there's an awful lot. I agree with the guy. You still have to wonder, okay, if you figure out a way to describe reality in, the, in, in a way that works for the theory of everything... Well, what do you do with that? And actually, it is, I do know what to do. If, if you know, like if everything is just a binary encoded information in the form of matter or coexistent with matter, 
We'll look at the matter that is all around us. I am in a favorite little spot of mine. And I am surrounded by these massive old trees. Several of them. And in the trees are birds that are nesting and mating and communicating with each other. And this place has an, an energy, a quality to it. Well, gee, just think of the uh, information content, even though we don't understand it. And maybe trees aren't self-aware the way we are. They're certainly not mobile <laughs> as I fall down the hill, right? They're land grabbers like we are. Do you realize that humans are the newest and like least evolved in a way thing on the planet? Human beings. Do you know we, we're, we're, we're like the cockroaches of, we're like the largest cockroach on this planet. Look at what we have done to plants and to the planet. I mean, think of anything bad in this world. Think of anything evil, atrocious, destructive. What is the destructive force on this planet? You have to observe that it is the human being. All right? I'm not saying who. I'm not saying why. <clears throat> this isn't about nationality. This isn't about wrong. This isn't about... I'm an American because I was born to, to older human beings. My mother and father were in the United States, and therefore I was born in the United States, and therefore I'm an American. I mean, that's all, yeah, well, it's all bullshit, in my opinion, nowadays. That doesn't mean I agree with what this country is doing. It doesn't mean that I agree with what other countries are doing. It doesn't mean that... Anything. None of that matters. <clears throat> we have to objectify. If you just look at the world and its atrocities, they go back to humans. Um, do we ever think of trees and plants as evil? Horrible? They're grubby little land grabbers, land grabbers just like we are. <clears throat> but I don't know. Everything else on the planet seems to be able to cohabitate much better than we do. So, those are my thoughts for today. I don't want to go on too long. But maybe there's something to recognizing the reality, which is that we're surrounded by certainly matter, this planet that I'm standing on is immense in comparison to me. Um, this hill that I'm sliding down, immense amount of matter. What about consciousness or information or history? What if we apply Carl Jung's notion of individuation to other species. <clears throat> What's his concept of individuation? Well, oh my, I don't know if you can see it. Its wings are spread. One of these birds is over here just putting on quite a show. I'm gonna try to get a little closer. I'm sure <clears throat> other people would be able to identify these birds much better than I can. Anyhow, individuation. Carl Jung many times gave the example. He says, if you take an acorn from an oak tree and you plant it in the ground, what happens? It grows to be a big oak tree. That's its nature. Everything about that tree is embodied, is contained in that acorn. 
same as with human beings. We are born with an innate nature, uh, an expected progression of our lives. That and to be that, to be true to that, and you know, there's no other creature really that's false to that than humans. I mean, how many schizophrenic trees do you know? Uh, you know, right? Most animals just don't behave in in just with the issues that humans have in figuring out the meaning of their life. What's it all about? All the stuff that we, you know, religions. How many religions have been created by... Here, here's a game to play. The game is lion, tiger, bear, human. You know, how many uh, mass slaughters of their own species <coughs> have been committed by lions? Not many. Tigers? Not many. Bears? Not many humans. Oh, quite a few. You know, we, 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 we don't mind our world wars. We will kill each other. Oh, yeah. And we'll find reasons to do it, like religion. Uh, how many religions are there uh, among the lions? Mm, don't know. Tigers? Mm, don't know. Bears? Mm, don't know. Humans? Oh, quite a few.